What's up guys, this is Andrew in the night. Ugh. What's up guys, this is Andrew in the night, and this is Android Games News episode 4. First up, we're going to talk about Roboto, which is a new sort of platformy type thing where you run around as a little robot and you can jump and shoot and sort of semi-surf on this board thing. It reminds me a little bit of Ratchet and Clank because you run around and you collect gears and there's robots to kill. And that's pretty much where the resemblance ends. But you sort of run around and it's quite a nice platformer and it has really nice graphics actually so uh, I suggest you check that one out. Carrying on the robot theme we have Angry Bots which is a demo that Unity 3D have released. The graphics on this are truly phenomenal and if you've got a high-end phone I really suggest you check it out because just the rain effects, the light effects Everything looks awesome. Next up, Gameville have released Colosseum onto the Android market. Really, really cheap things like 68p or something, $99, bucks, dollars, uh, cents. It's the one. This is a game where you pretty much just run around and you beat the crap out of orcs, uh, bigger orcs, bigger orcs with shields, skeletons, bigger skeletons, and things like that. And you upgrade all your weapons and your armor, and it's quite good fun. So if you're a fan of hack and slash with sort of a very, very, very small sort of RPG customizable element thrown in, then uh, just try this one out. It's a great time waster. Coming on the robot theme, we've got Destroy Gunners F, which is a really, really cool looking 3D run around game where you're in a big mech and you have loads and loads of customizable weapons that you can unlock and loads of different sort of bits and pieces that attach to your mech and effectively make it easier to blow the crap out of everything else. The free version is F and there's also another version but I don't think it works on anyone's phone so I suggest you search Destroy Gunners F and then there's the other version which the name of has slipped my mind but I'll put it here and if you download that it's about six quid or about ten dollars and that has loads more in it and I haven't paid for the upgrade yet but I'm pretty tempted because it's a good looking game this segment is called Hidden Gem, and we're going to do this each time I do an episode, and it's going to have a game which I think, or, well, either that I think, or I think that Droid Gamers has also thought and got right. Uh, a game that's sort of not had its praises properly sung, and that's not been downloaded as many times as it should have been. This week's, it is Robocop, which is another mech-based game where you run around and shoot things, but uh, it's got some really nice customizable elements. Run around and shoot people uh, as a big mech, and there's sort of robot spiders and things that you kill and it's really customizable and there's loads of weapons and it's just really good fun really so uh, check it out go support the developer uh, leave a rating and stuff on its apps which I think you should always do in the market anyway because a lot of people don't and people tend to only do it when they don't like an app which means a lot of app rating are dragged down uh, but this is actually really good Gameloft have also broken the habit of a lifetime and released another game onto the Android market I know poppers and stuff not the drug party poppers this is GT Racing Motor Academy Plus, and it's actually free as well, which I think is a game loft first. You can do career modes, and you can do an arcade mode, and you basically just drive around and race people, and you can do all the classic stuff like customise your car, paint jobs, which kind of goes in the same category as customising your car, make it quicker, buy new cars, win races, win money, beat rivals, that sort of thing. In their first foray into Android, Marvel have released Captain America Sentinel of Liberty on the Android market, and this is actually really cool, it sort of uses a new type of mechanic where it's sort of a 3D platformer crossed with your more sort of classic sort of game loft style game. The graphics are pretty decent so I suggest you have a slightly higher end phone uh, but that's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan and the movie's coming out soon. This could be a good way to sort of ready yourself for it if that's what you're into. As a bit of news, the people who make Jetcar Stunts have announced that they're going to be making Jetcar Stunts 2 and they're going to bring it to Android. Uh, in the foreseeable future, so if you love Jet Car Stunts, um, I do, it's one of my favourite games on Android, uh, and this is something to look forward to. It's going to have a sort of a freestyle trick mode where you can sort of flick around in midair and do tricks, which is really cool, and it'll have all the elements that we know and love in the current version, so if you haven't tried the current version out, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Android Games News, please hit the subscribe button wherever it is on the new Moon Pig, no not Moon Pig, is it Cosmic Panda? Yeah, whichever version that is if you're using it. If you're using the old one, it's probably about there. Hit that, uh, support me, and also check out droidgamers.com for more gaming news. You can also follow me on Twitter, which will be in the description. Ta-da! <laughs>